Me use to tap tap send. Tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover a map pimp. Tap tap send. In TNA, also download the Tap Tap Send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's first see how we're boosting our forward Ghana for name. Tap Tap Send. Papa no no. Everybody check now. Check it. Fa check it. Fa check it. Check it. The beat is real. Don't we make it kill ya? Get your green cell, let go, go meet her And check it Sugar level, check it, check it For check it, check it For check it, for check it, check it, check it Green cell, let go, go meet her For check it, for check it, check it, check it For sugar level, for check it For check it, check it, check it For check it, for check it, check it, check it Green cell, let go, go meet her Everybody check now This advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA Back from the city of London, and I have some fillers for you, fillers that I'll be sharing with you from time to time. But today I want to touch on two things. I want to touch on the fact that most of the events we do in London as Ghanaians are struggling. They are struggling. They are indeed struggling. Because the artists, they keep postponing their dates. At every point in time, you see that they will fix a date, make all the noise, and the next day you wake up and you hear that, oh, they have postponed the date of the event. It is not going to happen on that day. I'll be talking about that, giving you some more details on that here as well. And again, I want to start with sports because I know our World Cup is now very, very close. And no matter what, we have to prepare as Ghanaians to go face the world. And that is what we are about to do. Let me say thanks to the Guitar Rasta Currency and also to Richie Flex as well as Imano Furi Lapiji for making this happen here on Flex Entertainment. My name is Sammy Flex. If you are joining me here for the very first time, I call this editorial. The editorial is what I think about the issues on board. Starting with the sports team. So today I was privileged to have seen the full announcement of our squad for the World Cup that is Qatar 2022. I saw everything. I watched it from beginning to end. To the time that some journalists started asking questions about why this person was called, about why that person was not called. So I followed everything in detail. Or better still, you can permit me to say, I follow everything in total. That is just by the way. Now, when Ket Okraku, who is the GFA chairman, when it was her his time to speak, he said something. He said that, he is telling all media people that they must stop asking questions like why this person was not called and why that person was not called. And when I heard that, I cringed. I said, no, that's not how to even put it. Even if this is what you want to say, you should appeal to their conscience that the players who are going to be on the field, they don't want to assume themselves as being less of how or why they have been called in the replacement of another person. So we should speak languages or we should speak words that they will feel confident of themselves that, yes, the call-up that you have been called, you deserve to be on the field to play. They should have gotten such messages and not messages like, when or why did we not call this guy and why are we calling this guy? But when he said, you must stop, I said, no. You got it all wrong, boss. They won't stop. These are media people. It is their mandate to review and put out their suggestions and their opinions on issues happening. But to tell them that they should stop, they should not do this, no, you did not get it right. And so unfortunate, though he has said it, it has even happening now. Questions are still being asked. People are asking him, why was this person not called? These are legit questions. People can ask on any other day. 
So for him to come up with that authorization that you must stop it, the big man got it wrong. And on this note, I have been a patriotic citizen, always looking for our guys to excel, especially in the World Cup and any other match that they will play. In fact, I have high hopes in the team. I have high confidence in the team that we might not be presenting the best of players. We might not be putting forth the best foot, but I know that the presentation or the presentation we have on the table, it looks okay. All that we need to do is to give them the physical, the spiritual, and the morale that they need. And I believe Ghana we will get back to our old glory, our past glory of being the star of Africa when it comes to football. We wish them well. But to Ket and his people, telling people that they must stop asking questions, questions will keep coming. Questions will keep coming. I even hear they have a friendly match just uh, on Thursday. Right after that friendly match, people will still ask questions because people are going to ask questions based on the performance of the team. How do you stop these people? How do you say they must stop in that power and authority? It won't happen. They will continue asking questions. So get ready for it. Like Chemo said during one of the editions of Showbiz Daily, all that you have to do is to defend why you called some people. That is your duty. Your duty is to defend why you called that guy and you called that guy. So if you defend why you called them, then on the field of play, whatever they will put out, will tell us that, yes, your defense was right or wrong. Let's put that one down and move on to the next thing. I have been to London for the past two weeks, or I have been in London for the past two weeks. And as an entertainment person, I attended about three shows whilst I was there. At least, I was at the Ghana Music Awards UK, the main event that took me to London. And whilst there, I also got the opportunity to see some events. The King Promise Tour, uh, that is the grand finale of the King Promise Tour. And I also went for Afroflex, one show that has been introduced for the people who love Afrobeats in London. And I want to plead today. In fact, I came to plead, not to say much, that we are here and we hear a new brand of music like Ashake has sold out venues. In fact, the last time, I'm yet to confirm though, the last time I got information that he sold about three continuous days of an, of an event hall in London. And I'm asking that, why can't it happen to our people? Why are we struggling to do small, small venues? 1,004, 2,000, 1,008, 800. We are struggling to do this. Meanwhile, when you go to London, there are a good number of Ghanaians there. Or better still, let me even generalize it and say, when you travel abroad in every country you would go to, there are a good number of Ghanaians there. When I went to London, I was living in um, a place that is known to be more Nigerian-dominated. Uh, Woolwich and Plumstead. These areas, I hear Nigerians in London live there. Bah! The apartment I lived in, it was at Plumstead. And it was around the uh, Woolwich area. And I hear over there, there are so many um, Nigerians there. And of course, I saw it. In fact, even the landlord of the apartment I lived in was a Nigerian. And anytime you step out to go buy anything or to walk around, you hear more people speaking the Yoruba language. So it's so obvious. You go there and you see that anytime there is something about a nigerian brother there they all come out with all energy to support it but is the story the same when it comes to ghana it is not the story has never been the same with ghana we do shows look at afroflex the people listed or build some of the top performers in ghana kk fosu kwabna kwabna samini article one nero x Nana Kwame, six of them, and a hall of about a thousand something, we struggle to even fill the ground floor. Why? It's not as if we don't love these guys. We love them. When they put out records, we listen to them. When we see them on our social media, other activities, we follow them. But just to pay 30, 50 pounds or euros or dollars to go see their events, 
Nah, we shy away from it. And it is a shame. If it is going to be like this, then our industry will continue to struggle. Then that dream of we one day having some artists from Ghana going to fill the O2 arena, which is a 20,000 capacity venue, it is going to be a dead dream because it will never materialize. I am here pleading, not only to the experience I got in London, but to everywhere around the world. Can we, can we, once again, can we do something about this? I know we are all working with the hope of getting some property here and there in Ghana, but that little thing won't kill you. In fact, let's do it with a notion of going to support our nation. Let's do it with the notion of going to help our nation build that aspect of the department or the entertainment industry. Because we all know how Nigeria is now looking good because of show business. Maybe Ghana, beyond the fact that we are seen as one of the best destinations in Africa, beyond the fact that we are the gateway to Africa, if you are able to push our showbiz space, you even become bigger and better. Nigeria earlier on, mention Nigeria, everybody will tell it, talking about Yahoo Boys, 419. But now mention Nigeria, and it is music, it is entertainment, and it looks so beautiful. What are we doing? We are not doing it right. So I came here just to beg all my people living abroad, Ghanaian people living abroad. Let's patronize Ghanaian events. Kim promised show, 2004, the place was not filled up. He had a good presentation of audience. That was fair. Black Sheriff, he's supposed to play on 18th um, November as I speak. First date came up. They postponed it because ticket sales were not encouraging. They fixed their new date, which is 18. The last time I checked, I asked a management member, how are ticket sales going? He says, yes, it is looking good. I said, we thank God. Go and kill it for us. Mr. Kede was supposed to play in London. Same way. Tickets are not selling. So he's also postponed it onto a date that we don't even know. I speak to some people who buy tickets to go for some of these shows. And when they hear about the postponement, they become mad. There was one lady, Sheila, I spoke to, who told me she bought tickets for um, Black Sheriff's concert. And now after the postponement, she does not even want to go again. She wants her fans back because she's not so sure whether the new date will favor her or not. Because over there, time is of essence. Everybody is working at a point in time. So, I just came with a small appeal. Let's patronize our Ghanaian events. Let's support our Ghanaian events. Let's make them big. And when we do that, the pride will come to us as Ghanaians. My name is Sammy Flex. I came to you in peace and not in pieces. But you can also share your opinion and let's do more. Subscribe to us and let's do some more. And we are back. We are back. We met so many beautiful people. So many people showed us love and Reflex TV Live. My name is Sammy Flex. I'm out of here.